Hey, welcome back guys. Today we're going to repair a single lever deck faucet. That's a single lever ball type deck faucet. Now bear in mind there are many different types. They use different type of cartridges, but today we're going to specifically go over the ball type single lever faucet repair. So uh, let's get to it. All right guys, there it is. Uh, as you can see, it's leaking. So uh, before we do anything, we got to go down below here and shut off the water. All right, first we'll start with the cold water. And for those of you who have a hard time figuring it out, you're always close to the right, always clockwise. So we're going to close our cold, and then we'll jump over here to the hot. And let's shut that also. Okay, back up top. Okay, guys, first thing is first. Uh, let's swing the nozzle out of the way. The first thing you have to do is take the handle off. Now, the way you do that is with this little tool and it generally comes if you buy the complete repair kit, which is what I recommend. Get the complete repair kit. Just, don't just replace parts, you know, one side or the other side. You want to do a complete overhaul because it'll only come back to bite you. So we, we put our Allen key in here. We just back off that little Allen uh, key nut and the handle slips right off. The only tool you're really going to need for this is a pair of channel locks. You just want to loosen the cap nut. And I'll get that out of the way. And I'll try to keep my hands out of the way of the video. And we'll loosen that. If that's loose, we can take that off. Okay, cap nuts off. Cam, cam washer, and the old ball. And then to get the springs and seats out, I usually like to just put an awl or pointy, even like a dental tool in there. And you can poke out the old springs and seats that's the cold side this is the hot side now like i mentioned you want to do everything so we're going to pull this nozzle off we're going to, pull the nozzle. We're going to do a complete overhaul here and then we want to remove these two there are two o-rings here two little o-ring washers would actually keep the water from leaking out of the top of the of the nozzle here so you want to remove those and get yourself a pair of needle nose and you just got to grab them sometimes they're a little resistant but that's okay they'll come out and if you really get impatient you can just pop them break them off now this one's a little stubborn which means it's relatively still in good shape there we go there's one Make sure we clean all the debris out of there, and let's take the bottom one out. And there's the second one. And we just want to wipe that clean. Make sure there's no little pieces in there. Okay, now what you can do is purchase. Now I buy them professionally from a company that just sells the plumbing, but you can get complete kits. Uh, from uh, your local home supply, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever the case may be. And this is a complete kit, so let's pop it open. And the first thing I like to do, actually, let me get this out of here. And we'll put our replacement parts right here. Whoops. First thing I like to do is put the O-rings on. I like to get the nozzle part of it out of the way. So we're going to slip that O-ring on, and there's a little groove in there that that'll snap into. There's one on top, there's one on bottom. You have to do both of them. You can't just do one. Then we're going to do one on the bottom. Okay, cool. Now, also what I'd like you to do is get, it, get some waterproof grease for yourself, because this is one step that most people don't do, and it's a big mistake. Get yourself some waterproof grease and grease those O-rings up because what that's going to do is allow the, the nozzle to swing freely. I mean, it'll swing anyway, but this is going to make life much easier. Trust me, I've been doing this way too long to steer you in the wrong direction. Okay. Now, if you want to, you could even, you could even put some inside there, which is, which is perfectly fine. Now we'll get that nozzle back on. Okay. Beautiful. We want to set the new springs and new seats down. This is what I do. 
again, you could use a dental pick, you can use a long needle nose pliers, but and then I just stick it in and I let them slide and down inside the faucet, you can't see it from this angle, there's a little recess where they sit into. So this is going to pop right in. So the spring will drop down and the rubber cap will go right over it. That's the cold. Let's do the hot. Okay. Oops. Put that in there backwards. Bob. What are you doing? Okay. There is my hot. Now, the next thing you want to do is put the ball in. Now, I, I do this, you could say it force a habit, but 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 I I, I I put a little grease on the ball. Now, some guys will tell you, you're crazy, there's no need to do that. What are you doing that for? But you know what? I've never had an issue with it. So Now, there's a notch on this ball, this little notch. You have to orientate this notch to this little, there's a little brass tint that's sticking out of here. And you have to get that into the notch. Okay, so that'll let the ball sit correctly. Okay, next is the cam. Again, I take the grease. This is the cam with the cam washer. And I put a little grease on here. That just aids in, in, in the ball, you know, riding with the movement. Okay, I'm going to put this on here. Again, there's also a notch here, if you can see this. And there's a notch on the side of the faucet, so we're going to match the notches up. And I'm going to get that little push. There we go. And what we're going to do now is take our cap nut. Let's get that down there. There we go. And we'll get our cap nut on there. Snug that up with our channel locks. Now what this, this little ring here does, when you do that and you tighten it, you might find that the handle is a little too loose. And that's where this little handy wrench comes in handy. This is the other part of the Allen key here. And what you'll do is you'll see there's notches in here and you can take this and actually push down the cam washer along with the rubber washer and what that will do is it'll it'll tighten up the ball so you know it won't seem so loose to you because when you put the handle on it could get sloppy so I generally tighten that down you know not crazily but enough so that my faucet um, runs freely and at the same time I don't want to destroy it so we're going to put our handle back on again. And then you, you, can, you can line the nozzle up with the handle. And once you got that lined up, you can swing this out of the way. And what we'll do is we'll tighten up that nut. I like to give it a little, a little, just a little, you know, sixteenth of a turn more. Okay, let's go turn the water on. Okay, water's on, let's give it a shot. All right, straight back is mixed. To the right is cold, to the left is hot, and forward is off. Well, there you go, folks. As you can see, no more drip. So that's it. That's your single lever ball type of faucet repair. Any questions, feel free to email me, bobsplumbingvideos.com, and... Um, you know, let's uh, hope to hear from you again, and uh, I thank you for stopping by. Take care.